Hey everyone. So, unfortunately, this is the painting from video 286 that I said was so cool, but I didn't like that white part in the middle. Well, I decided I was going to try and add a little bit more white to add a different negative space to even it out. And um, I accidentally dumped white paint on it. <laughs> so, we get to do it again. Woohoo! Um, so, yeah, what remained of that painting is um, right there, wrapped in, wrapped in the paper. So, we will do it again, which I'm kind of excited because I love those colors, so I don't really mind pouring it again. And I've been trying to, I mean, that was like literally like five minutes ago. So, I'm trying to decide um, how to do it this time. I'm not going to go diagonal. Um, I was thinking I was thinking making it heavier and then kind of drizzling off. So we'll see how that works. Um, but yeah, as I say, it's just paint, you know. <laughs> But if you watch the rest of the video from this, you know, I talked about how the, um, how all my, all my back stuff, you know, made me kind of, my brain a little wonky. Um, and that's why I had it painted in a few days. So, you know, when I say things like, oh, it's just paint, you know, I, it's not just lip service. I mean it. I mean, in this, you know, the scheme of life or scheme of life. That's the wrong word. It really is just, you know, this paint. So, I know. I, I hate when I sound like, like a, like Dr. Phil or some crap like that. But, I guess I, you know, some of you watch and, and with the sound on. So, that that's my wisdom for the day, I suppose. Um, well, I guess the wisdom from the day was actually from the video from yesterday. So if you didn't watch that, go back and watch yesterday's maybe. I don't know. I'm really confusing myself now. So anywho, the colors once again are Grumbacher Dioxazine Purple, Naples Yellow, Cadmium Red Deep Hue, and Grumbacher um, cerulean blue hue and the blue has some of this iridescent medium in it and this Naples has some gloss gel medium in it but um, it really it's kind of a pointless medium it really doesn't do anything too much that I have noticed um, and I think Michaels has a coupon for 40% off acrylics this week so I think I'm going to try some other Grumbacher because I love the um, Prussian blue and I need some more. But like, and that one always seems to stand out in all my paintings, as did this Dioxazine. The Cerulean, not as much, but maybe because it's just not as dramatic a color. So I'm thinking, and I really like the Grumbacher Mars Black. So maybe... I'm thinking maybe I'll just buy, because Grumbacher is expensive, so maybe I'll just buy the, um, uh, like, dark colors in Grumbacher, since those seem to be the ones that show up. I had bought, I'm trying to think, way, way, way back when I first experimented with them. I think it was a magenta, because I may have been hooked on magenta at that point in time. And I can't remember what order I loaded the cup last time, even though it was 20 minutes ago. But. It seemed to be about the right amount of paint, so. Trying to add it from up high. 
If you add it from up high, it mixes more. Um, if you do it low, it layers. Oh, look, there's like a little face. Um, I mean, depending, you know, that if one of your paints is a different consistency, it obviously won't work quite like that. Um, but yeah, mixing from or pouring from up high will mix it all up more, which used to, I noticed it more and the flipping drags, I don't notice it as much, but when I used to just do a dirty pour, um, I could tell because that like with no negative space, I mean, then, then it seemed more noticeable. yellow. Okay, so let's do this again. I need to mix up some more white. I made it through last month. I tried, last month I tried so hard not to buy any art supplies. And I bought very, very little. But you can't do that every month. Because <laughs> then you just run out of supplies. But, and some of you may be happy to hear, I don't think I'm going to be purchasing any more MDF anytime soon. I'm back on, I'm back hooked on the canvases, really liking the canvases. Um, I haven't even poured a circle in a long time because the two circles I have left are huge. They are 24 inch diameter. Uh, the ones I usually pour are 18. So the 24 is big, um, but boy, it makes a statement piece because I have one hanging in my dining room. And it's a really cool statement piece. And that one is really pretty because that one is kind of shades of blues and it's more of a marbly look. So it's it's not like a, it doesn't jump out at you. The colors are subdued. The style is subdued. And which is good because my dining room has, it, it needed, needs some subdued. <laughs> The walls are kind of a darker blue-gray. And then I've got a big mirror that I spray-painted the frame um, bright lime green. And then it's got like weird, I glued like weird stuff to it. It's pretty awesome. But I can't have everything in that room be all, ah! Nobody actually eats in that. That's where our computers are and stuff. Alrighty. So I said I was going to start at the top. Ooh. Wow. Look at that. You're so pretty. It's so pretty. I almost just want to leave it. It's so pretty. But I am going to let it. Oh, good. I hear them feeding the dog. slow. Letting it take its time. So my son, who usually has no interest in the dog, has been trying to teach it, her, to come to him when he whistles by giving her a treat every time. He's like, no, I don't know what, why he's doing it. But then he left the treats on a table in the family room. And then I saw her climbing on the table. I'm like, you can't do that. He's also taken to shooting her with a water gun outside. 
and the dog just opens her mouth and seems to enjoy it. So I figure, figure if she didn't like it, she'd let him know. As you can tell, I'm fairly hesitant on this one because I don't, don't want to have to scrape this one off as well. And this part right here, this whole thing, you can see color, but it is bare canvas. So I'm not going to fill that with white because that was what I didn't like last time. I'm waiting for this kind of to develop. Uh, it's a darker area I'm not as crazy about, so I may tilt that. I may tilt this way first. So I'll turn it around so you are seeing what I have been seeing. So this is most interesting to me so far. This is least interesting. Unfortunately, they're on the same side, so I can't just tilt that way. I am ever so gently tilting, trying to tilt that off. Yeah, I don't like that area. Yeah, but it's starting to not look so good. Now I hear my son yelling. Pretty sure he just yelled, Sophie, did you burp? That's the dog, and the answer is probably yes. God, don't you just love my live narrations of my home? that to go off the edge and catch there we go this one is definitely not as cool as the other one and I am tempted to take that all off but I'm going to wait and see what develops up here first I think So I'm tilting and then letting it sit. And I think that's how this one's just going to be. But, oh, I really don't like that at all. Uh, and, it's, and it's going to join up with this. It's a pretty efficient scraper. And now what I think I'm going to do, if I can do this, which I'm not sure if I can. Okay. Because I really don't want that coming over here at all. If 
unfortunately, that leaves me with, oh, no, I think I can do it. We'll see. Oh, look, there's a ghost. Two eyes. Oh, it's a ghost horse, I think. So I think those are the nostrils. Well, now that this one isn't as great, I kind of do miss the other one. But this one will be great. This one will just, this one just is more work. I always find it interesting how some, like, wham, bam, seven minutes or whatever, you know, and it's perfect. I kind of like the struggles more. The struggles are more fun. My paint is pretty thick. <laughs> I'm thinking that is what's going on here. And I said I wasn't going to add white, but oh, I don't think, maybe if I add, I don't think that there is enough paint here. Maybe if I just do it this way by getting the canvas wet, maybe that will be enough. Ghost horse is breaking up. Right. I don't think that's going anywhere. I think I'm safe to. that I actually waited though to see if that was truly what I wanted to do. Look at that. That's growth. And I'm going to use a smaller container to pour the new so that I don't just dump a bunch of white paint over. white is thicker than the rest of it, which is causing some flow issues, because you can see this really wants to move, and the white is not letting it. So, I think that's what my dealio is. Hang on, I'm going to do a hard tilt. You won't be able to see for a second. Yep, that white 
This white paint is so thick. It is just not going to move. So I'm going to... Should I hair dry it? I could hair dry it. That might not even move for the hair dryer though. Well, I mean, it's my fault I mixed the paint, but... <laughs> I probably hadn't noticed it like in that swipe was because it was a swipe it's not as uh, noticeable in that this is kind of cool though I actually really kind of like this because you got all these cells down here and then Turn it around. Touch up the corners. Yeah, I'm digging this one. my gloves off because I knew I'm going to be done. Yeah, I'm happy with this. So there you have it. I'm, I'm happy with it. And now I'm going to move on to another color. <laughs> so please subscribe, keep watching, commenting, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.